Hey everybody, Andrea from Agile Sherpa is here with some of my favorite, favorite news of the whole year. Our annual State of Agile Marketing Report is live and ready for all of you to go and see how Agile Marketing has changed, evolved, adapted, exploded over the last year. And it really has. Like, there's some very exciting data in the report this year. Uh, I'm a little excited, can you tell? Um, the main thing that's got me a little bit overwhelmed with joy right now is that for the first time, this is the third year that we've done this report, and for the first time ever, Agile marketers are the highest percentage of marketers who answered. 42% of our 600 plus respondents tell us that they are using Agile in one way or another. Big improvement from the 34% that we saw in 2019. That's followed very closely by traditional marketers who were 41% of the respondents. And then we have just 16% who call themselves ad hoc, which means they don't really plan, they're sort of reactive to whatever feels good and right to work on at any given moment. So we have Agile kind of ascending to the top of the heap this year, which is extremely cool and um, a good signpost, I think, for what's to come in the Agile marketing movement. And now for those who are not quite there yet, right, 43% of them said Agile is definitely on the horizon, that they plan to begin their Agile journey and they're planning to do it really quickly. 95% of marketers who are going to go Agile say they're going to do it within the next year. I mean, we talk about an explosion of interest. Like, now's the time, people. If you don't sort this stuff out, one of your competitors is is planning to do it. I mean, go do it now. It's It's... Go figure it out or you're going to be playing catch up to a bunch of people who did. I can tell you which one I would want to be, right? So, and really there's no excuse anymore. Wherever you're finding this video, I can guarantee you that I have included links to lots of different training options, free, paid, online, in-person, read about it, listen to it, go to a in-person face-to-face training. There's no excuse not to figure it out now. There's tons of great resources. Go find some, get going, right? The sense of urgency is real at this point. And... The good news is that once you figure it out, the people who have already been through an Agile transformation tell us that it's awesome on the other side. So we asked all the respondents, how satisfied are you with the way that your team manages work? How good does it feel? And 73%, nearly three quarters of the Agile marketers love it. They think it's great. They are satisfied or very satisfied with how their team manages work compared to just 58% of traditional marketers and a little tiny sliver, 34% of ad hoc marketers are satisfied. So you're going to be a lot happier in your day-to-day -day activities once you make it through to the other side of agility. What does that look like? That's a continuing trend that we've seen every year we've done this study. Marketers need to be flexible. Hybrid frameworks are still far and away the most commonly cited way that marketers are applying agile ways of working, right? 47% of the agile respondents tell us they're using a hybrid and that's followed way behind at 17% by lean and just 14% of marketers say they're using Scrum. The out of the box stuff is not the way to go. You need to be prepared to look at the whole buffet of Agile options and pick and choose the ones that are right for you. And that's okay, right? That's, that's how we're gonna make this actually work for marketing over the long term. Last thing I wanna point out from the report is the top three things that marketers tell us are helping them to successfully go Agile, right? The first one is consistency. If you've got multiple teams, find a way to get consistent practices across those teams. Everybody has daily stand-up at 8.15. We all visualize our work on a board or in the same tool, right? These consistent uses of Agile really help with a transformation. 
We also see a lot of folks telling us that a good solid training plan is key. Because while Agile is really getting adopted more and more, most marketers still have very little, if any, experience actually using it. So you need to take the time to train people on best practices to avoid them making completely unnecessary mistakes. And this is the second most commonly cited thing that's helping marketers achieve agility. And the last one is find a good Agile tool true agile tool something that was built to support agile ways of working that's going to be key especially as we are all becoming more and more distributed we need a digital tool to support us so those are some of the most important and exciting and just really awesome <laughs> takeaways from this year's state of agile marketing report you can find my whole deep dive through the report also linked wherever you found this video and on agilesherpas.com if you are not seeing that link. We are delighted to be doing this report for the third year and sharing some of our takeaways with you. If you've got your own insights and some data points to share, I'd love to hear about it. I'm Andrea at agilesherpas.com. Please feel free to reach out to me. Questions, comments, use cases, whatever you got, I wanna hear about it because I am a professional Agile marketing nerd. Thanks so much for watching and keep climbing.